Yes, we're live on Facebook as well. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone that's joining us now. Um, fortunately, I couldn't do it. Like, I wanted to do it live on there. We'll put it on later. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Can you help me out of Bacardi? I think we lost him. Uh, those who are just joining us, good evening, everyone. The Lord bless you for joining us. Happy Easter. We can't, we can't hear him. Okay, while we're waiting for Alabakaudi to come back, uh, this, you're tuning to the Celestial Honors TV. This is an insightful moment where we bring the the big guns, I call them the big ones, the people who have been involved one way or the other in CCC for a long time, those who know their stuff. And especially we have a very special man, a man that's been around for a while, you know CCC more than most of us, is a secretary, pastor in council. So he's gonna be telling, we're gonna be talking about his life, talk about pastor in council and so many things. Uh, Yeah, I will. Okay. Are you ready? Ready, set. Okay. You do have that. 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 Uh, I want him to see me. Sorry, I um, I couldn't know what happened. So I think we're still live on Facebook actually. We're still live streaming. Sorry, the um that, that was from my end. My fathers and mothers, those who are joining us. Let me see whether we are still live on Facebook. Insightful moment we had some great men of God. This is Celestia Honors TV broadcasting live from London. And today we're celebrating our one year anniversary as well. Celestia Honors TV is one year today to the glory of God. Uh we started this station about a year ago. We've had they didn't link you. And your life. Huh? Please can you meet yourself please. Good evening Good evening. Oh how are you sir? Our guest, our special yeah, guest is back. Um before we we bring it out of the I just want to talk about Celeste on us TV. Yeah, the goal we call it. We say to the world, media world, and uh, this one, this is a subsidiary of Celeste Honors America. What is Celeste? Please, can you mute the phone? Hello. 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 Okay, I'll, I'll, I think I'll do it myself from here. I'll do it myself. Hello. Hello. Daddy? Yeah, that's done. And we started Celestia on us TV about a year ago. And to God be the glory, he's been an outstanding success. He's been wonderful. Um, in in one in one twelve months, we've done we've had about six programs. We have um the news round, which we broadcasted the 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 the, the broadcast for forty third was out yesterday. I think the forty third edition was out yesterday, which means forty three weeks. We've been doing news round, uninterrupted broadcast for forty three weeks. 
We have time out with Celestia Owners which, uh, with TV, which we do every Saturday for a year, non-stop, uninterrupted. Daughters of the Light every Thursday at 12 o'clock. That's for women program. 3 p.m. in the afternoon on Thursday is the prophetic declaration hour for prophet and prophetesses in CCC. And we have many I'll be talking about later. But for now, we are going to do insightful moments where we talk to the general CCC. So let's say your cry, sorry. I don't like to call it CCC when I'm broke, when I'm online. So the generals, those that God has put in a place of authority in Celestial of Christ, those that can explain to the world what we're all about. I know a lot of us, we know what we're doing. We know what we're talking about here, but we have no other than special, venerable, most senior evangelist, Kyle Agela, Secretary, Pastor in Council, Celestial Church of Christ Worldwide. Please, can you welcome him to this platform? Um, Arab Kyle I think I think we lost him a bit. Let me. Oh, I'm with you. I can... oh are you here, sir? Mm. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Thanks for honoring our invitation, and it's a great honor to have you on this platform. And um, the Lord will continue to bless you, empower you as you work hard to see that celestial your Christ. We have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Your family will never lack any good things in life with Jesus' mighty name. We have people who are watching. We have people who have joined us um, on the Zoom. I just want you to tell us who is Kyle De Ajala and the journey so far. I attended, I grew up in Lagos. I was born in Lagos. Uh, I went to primary school in Lagos. So there is only about I spent one year at the The light is a bit bad. We can hear him though. You, sir. God bless you. Uh, for those who are just joining us, uh, I welcome all of you, our fathers. We have a great man of God here, Evangelist Peter Singh. You're welcome to our meet. Um, I don't know whether it's a daddy or a mommy. I come to life and to all of you. See, Allah, God bless all of you for joining us. I have my father here, Evangelist, uh, a great mentor, Daddy Ponchoile, and MPIC himself. You're welcome, Mommy Simi. You're welcome, all of you. All of you are welcome into this brilliant episode of um, Insightful Moment and the World Year Celebration of Celestia Honors TV. Right, uh, we've heard about his life, 
a very great man of God. He's not, he's not new to any one of us in CCC. And many of the uh, letters you see that will come out or communication that will come out from the pastor's office, we see his name there. I, I'm going to go straight to the point. Um, Evangelist, that day, uh, Kawe Deja, like, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Right, that is the journey so far. We you had it. I'm going to ask you straight away. Um, what are the functions of the MPIC? And a lot of people don't even know the meaning of MPIC because I know I know, and I, because one of my father in the Lord, um, Daddy Shirley, is a member, so he's very close to me in London here. What are the functions of the MPIC? Okay, let me start by telling you that MPIC. Or should I say the function of MPIC in selection of Christ? Hello? Emma, I just think for you, brother. I just think for you, brother. Okay. Is an application for member, pastor, in council. So only the members of the council can. Uh, put that application after their names. Um, that's the meaning of it. Now to the body itself, the pastor in council. The pastor in council is the highest policy making body of the church. The pastor in council was inaugurated on the 12th of April, 1975. And then, SDJ for Shopper of Blessed Memory, the pastor founder of the Celestial Church of Christ Worldwide. Meaning that the council has been in existence now for 42 years. The function of this body is to come up with policy to guide the church, the pastor of the church, and the pastorate. The administration of the church to guide them in the running of the church. The body is supposed to make policies, recommendations, which have been ratified by the pastor of the church on the board and must be obeyed by all members of the church. That, in a nutshell, is the function of the body. In extension, Extension, the body in special cases can also get involved in the implementation of this policy after they have been approved and have been stamped at all by the part of the church. They can also participate in implementing these policies through committees. The pastor in council, as of today, has about 13 working committees. We have the Committee on Evangelism, we have the Committee on Warfare, we have the Committee on Media, we have the Committee on Youth Development, we have the Committee on Legal Matters, we have the Committee on Internal Arbitration and Internal Conflict Resolution, we have the Committee on Church Doctrines and Leaders. These are some of the committees that have. And each of these committees must make recommendations and uh, policy recommendations to help in the running of the church. I have a meeting this weekend where all the committees will be presenting their reports and policy recommendations to the entirety of pastor in council. I think that will be held at the this afternoon. That is about all. God bless, God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. I appreciate that. But how are the members appointed? The members of the pastor in council are sourced from some of the best that the celestial church of Christ has. The members are spread from the members are spread from the we have members in the UK, in America, in Canada, in Europe, all over the world. And they are sold from the best that the church has to offer. We look at contributions to the church, to progress the church.
I think we lost him for a moment there. Sorry. Uh, while we're waiting for him to come back, I want to thank all my fathers here. Um, my brilliant dad, uh, my very good daddy, evangelist Peterson, and all of you. Um, you're welcome. And this is going very well until, and I think it's the, it's the thing in Nigeria now. But he's going to come back. We're discussing about uh, MPIC member pastor in council, and uh, we have the secretary of the pastor in council, Celestia of Christ Worldwide, on this insightful moment. So he has been explaining it. So for those of you who are watching, there will be an interactive section where you can ask him questions. But please be polite. Let us be gentle. Let us be polite. Let us exhibit love. We have just been through a period of sober reflection. So no matter what it is, you ask your question, and I'm sure the great man will answer. So we have him back. Okay, sir. I think they, that's fine on how they are appointed. So they are appointed exclusively by the pastor himself. Yes, by pastor um, working with um, the next elder uh, of the church. My the board of trustees. Okay, sir. So that's very good. That's very good. And we have seen, I mean, same we had to hide from the truth. And um, I remember we, we had um, I have a program in America, which we do once in a week. It's called, it's called um, Rise and Shine America. We had the Secretary General of the U, U, USA Diocese on um, one of my programs in America, which is the um, Rise and Shine America, which the um, presenter, um, God bless him, that young man, asked him, and I will ask you the same question. He was very forthright in answering me, and I know you will do the same thing. We, at the moment, we all know what's going on in CCC. It's a relationship of Christ, sorry, I don't like to call it CCC. And at the moment, we all clamoring for peace. Every one of us, and I know, including myself, and you are the secretary of pastor in council. What are they doing? What is this great organization doing to bring about peace in the relationship of Christ? Thank you very much um, for that question. I need to also let you know that um, the plan for peace is one of the things that we all say our voice in support of in the past council. And this has led us to take some steps. This particular council has taken some steps to achieve peace and conciliation, uh, given the present um, situation in the church. We set up a peace and reconciliation committee made up of members of the council, and uh, they were mandated to visit all the parties, look into the situation, and then um, find ways of resolving the conflict. And I can assure you that they set about this task with all seriousness. We had as, uh, in that committee people like who is a retired judge of the High Court. Uh, that's quite a number of people that have had the story with a number of them. And a serious effort. They visited um, all the parties involved with a view to resolving the issue and bringing about peace. They reported back to the pastor, who is also open and also desires peace. Um, and this committee has not been dissolved. But unfortunately, and this is very unfortunate, yes. while we are still making those efforts, uh, we received a um, court paper. You know, and that was a major stumbling block in the mm -hmm. effort of um, because um, what the case was in court. Um, so we had to spread carefully. You know. But I tell you, the efforts are still being made because even the courts have uh, instructed.
resources that they should go out of court and have a speech nature. Mm -hmm. And that speech nature that has come up in the next school. Okay, brilliant. That's, that's very good. And I mean, like you said, you explained to me, you just said uh, the whole, everybody is listening, oh. both on the, in, on the Zoom and the Facebook. We all want peace. I've heard it. That is what we are after. And, I mean, the committee was set up, then the court paper came week. You see, I can't wait. For many of us, or some of us, cannot control people's emotions. We know that it's difficult for us. But those of you that are part of selected, brilliant men of God, brilliant women, I know a lot of you that are in the member of pastor and council, and you just explained to us. And um, I think basically a lot of people might want to ask you a question one or two later on the, when we get to the interactive section. But what impact do you think social media has on Celestial Church of Christ? Well, the, the, the social media has a For those who are not joining us, um, we have the great man with us, um, special available most senior evangelist, Carol Diagela, MPIC, the secretary 
pastor in council, Celestia of Christ worldwide. Uh, we're just discussing, we're having a general topic now. And I'm gonna go back to the crisis in CCC. And uh, you've told us the function of the MPIC. But if I can ask you, what caused these problems? And what was the bone of contention that the whole thing has been difficult? Right, I mean, you don't have to even go into this details, but a lot of us in the diaspora, we believe that the whole thing is revolves around the Nigerian diocese. And since the Nigerian of Christ cannot function without the Nigerian diocese, and we have the international headquarters in Lagos, the national headquarters, and we have the world headquarters at Meko. So those of us in London or in America, we're, for me, I can't do anything. I will never bypass the UK diocese government council to come to the pastor direct. I will not do it. Everything I do, I have to go to the government council of the UK diocese here. So that's why you hardly see me coming to your call. I mean, I have the connection to do that. But I just believe that I don't want to be seen as, an, as somebody's um, anti-establishment. So I work with the HOD here. Uh, we have, to God be the glory now, we have the Shepherds Council here, UK diocese, that's working very well. But uh, that the kind of, uh, the kind of what really, really caused this problem? Because I, I happened to be in um, America in 2019 for the USA convention, and uh, by another convention, Alaba, um, what's his name? God bless him, one of the DOT members. He was there, he represented the people. I was, I was honored in, in Chicago. He presented the award to me on behalf of the pastor. We had a lot of discussion. We were there, it was a very beautiful thing. We all discussed, you know, what all of a sudden, and we don't have to go into the nitty gritty, but maybe you can shed a bit more light and people that are watching can understand. I don't want to put you on the spot, but they might ask you a question like this. What do you think caused this division? That's, I mean, now we're talking about a court case in America. We're talking about a court case in Nigeria. Where are we going? What, I mean, the pastor and council, yes, they initiated a, move, a peace move. We have the committee, then when they start to do something, then all of a sudden, they are the cost people are came, which is fine. But what really caused this problem? How that people that used to eat in the same place now become enemies? They had they, they had to talk. They want to see each other. How, sir? Please. That's a very very, very sensitive question, and um, I will tread very cautiously in answering the question. One because. Um, we already have cases in, in the court. Yes, I know. We don't want to get the About this, you might um, find yourself on the wrong side of the law. The law, yes. Once you begin to tell them to what caused it, what did not cause it, you are going to begin to drag in personalities and individuals. And I want to shy away from that because at the end of the day, let me court or no court, uh, this court or no this court, this agreement or no this agreement. We are all still brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes. Founded by Christian Church Celeste. Uh, yeah, well, we're here, so we can hear you. I want you to know that, that um, somewhere down the line, and I'm very optimistic, I'm very sure this is going to be resolved. It's going to be settled and committed. So when you think about it now, you have to be careful not to begin to inflame the situation, to begin to apportion blame. Because this crisis is going to be resolved, and we are going to resolve it. I have said earlier on that in the court, the judge said it in the open court that we should go and resolve this matter peacefully outside the court. And we are making moves of that. The state has been seen, a conciliation meeting is going to be held, the pastor is going to be there, all the parties are going to be there. Fantastic. To talk about what caused this, what, and maybe there are people going to put fingers into, it, into their faces and shout at each other. But I thought that we are going to have a resolution. 
that is my position on this. So you would pardon me if I do not really want to, if I start talking about it, I'm going to drive Brilliant. Then you don't waste. You've done. You've done well enough to avoid them. Um, we don't want to be dragged to court because of this. Boy, we don't really well. And I mean, the way forward, you've already. I wanted to ask you what is the way forward, but you've already touched that point, and uh, the Lord continue to be with you, Jesus, mighty name. I want to welcome all for my fathers there, for those who are watching live on Facebook. This is insightful moment on Celestial Nas TV, broadcasting live from London. And um, Daddy Coyote, what advice do you have for Celestial Church of Christ youths? Because you see, for some platform, they always say the youths are ready. For me personally, for me, this is my personal opinion, the youths are not ready. I might be wrong, but what advice would you give to the youths? Thank you very much for this question. I Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. I know it's, um, it's the network in Nigeria, so we're patient. We're, we're here, sir. Don't worry. Take your time. Um, you are very energetic. You are very Who wants to see that celestial set of Christ? Who wants to be involved? What is happening in the church, and who are very honest about the church? Mm. I see all the quality in our youth, but my problem is that how is this discipline energy that they have? How is this discipline? The growth of the church in a positive way. I want to tell you this. Some people normally, uh, which we all know, have a tendency to be a superhero. And the use of the local government are not exempted from that kind of a leader. But if they are going to help this job more, and this is the next of the that we all want to do, what is a leader? Even though as youth, they are youth, they are not they must go up very far. The first thing of Christ is a very peculiar thought. It is not, it is not your normal law of the new thought. Yes. Like I tell people all the time, even the elders, even people in positions of authority in this church, I tell them that aggression, confrontation, violence, violation are not work in this church. Hmm. It's not work. Whatever we are doing here, our situation is so peculiar. We have higher, 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 higher body. We have celestial body. Overseeing and supervising this person, you. So, when you come into the church with so much aggression and confrontation and impatience, exuberance and all that, you are not going to achieve anything. You are, good, you are not going to compound the situation that we already have in our hands. Let me give you an example. I am saying this. Something happened just about two days ago. I think it was on two Fridays, not two days ago, when the, the, the pastor, the very email of our way to Marco for the good Friday service, he wasn't there last year for good reason. Now he will have this year for the good Friday service. And before he even went to Marco, a delegation from Marco had visited him to, to, to assure him that the entire Marco was looking forward to his presence at Good Friday. Of course, the pastor had told them they would be there, and he went there on that day. 
For some youths, mounted the basket at the day of the Lord. And did not allow the pastor to be pastor. At the end of the day, they said it was not the pastor they were angry with, but they were angry with the pastor. I found that action totally unacceptable. Serious. So, yes, this is a good Yes, you have grievances in the past, uh, personal assistance in the past, but you also know that they are. Sorry, the network is, is bad, so he just explaining to us about the pastor visit to <laughs> Makoko. Uh, I think on a good Friday and something happened. So we're discussing about which the okay, it's back now. Also, the matter was that the pastor went in and the pastor assistant to the pastor went and met with the youth, and at the end of the day, I just want to ask one more question before I will open the floor to our fathers. I'm sure they'd love to have a chat with you and to ask you about where do you see Celestial of Christ in five years' time? Well, I can speak from my experience as a um, of the what I know. And from the things I know being done behind the scenes, I'm not just looking at the Hallelujah. Also, the things of some days, I can tell you for free that a lot is going on behind the scenes. A whole lot is going on. The universities which were inaugurated. Sorry, we are sorry. Let's bear with them because of the um, the network. Yes, I'm back. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. For me, for me, since I've been walking around the park, there have been holding meetings, 
They have been holding virtual meetings. They have been holding physical meetings. They have been visiting sites. They have been visiting historical sites of the church. And that is quite a lot. I am privy to some of the reports of these committees, which are going to be presented on Saturday, 23rd of this month. I'm privy to it because of my position in the council. I have read some of those reports. I have read some of those recommendations. And I tell you, even as I speak with you, I am very excited and I am very happy at the things that I have seen, at the recommendations that I have seen. And I can tell you that if we have that meeting on Saturday and these presentations are made, and we need to write up a rectifier on this presentation. Because these presentations cover almost every department. There is evangelism, there is works and projects, there is youth development, there is media and publicity, there is welfare, there is church doctrines and liturgy, there is unification, and so on and so forth. From some of the reports I have read, if we get those reports presented on Saturday, if they are stamped and approved afterwards, and the white paper is written out, and these recommendations are adopted for implementation. It is not, it's not going to be enough for us to just present them and adopt them. Then we have to also follow up to make sure that they are implemented. If those recommendations that I see are implemented in the Celestial Enterprise, there is going to be a 360 degrees turn around. Wow. It's not going to take idea because all these recommendations have timelines attached to them from the report I have made. There are timelines of immediate, there are timelines of three months, there are timelines of six months. Time. If we adopt them, oh, this is good news. So he's going to come back. Um, Thank you for your patience, everyone watching online, and um, we just because of the network in Nigeria. So the, I don't know, sir. Okay, welcome back, sir. If we if we implement this recommendation, I tell you there is going to be a major turnaround, and it's not going to be in five years. I can tell you that in the next one year. Wow. They want folks and they are working around the clock to make sure that things change within the world. God bless you. That is our Yes, God bless you. I have only one more question, but I think I opened the floor now because of time. Um, uh, daddies and fathers and mothers who are watching, um, we have Daddy Kyle is ready to take your question. Like I said earlier, be gentle, be nice, be friendly. Like you said, we are all one family. Um, Daddy <laughs> Peterson, good evening, sir. Welcome to this program. Good evening, sir. How are you? Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear, sir, yes. Thank you. Thank you for such a program at such a time like this. We appreciate. And the good Lord will continue to empower you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to go directly to ask my questions. I have a couple of questions anyway, if time permits. Okay. But to start with, I got a little bit uncomfortable when our Honorable Secretary was saying there are lots of, I hope he's hearing me too. Okay, you know, each time you, you, you talk about meetings have been had, you keep saying if approved, if implemented, and I begin to wonder, and that brought to bear the issue of the Celestial University. Everything was done on paper perfectly at some point, Someone just came and said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. You see, and you are saying you have a plan for the church if implemented, 
fantastic things will happen. If not implemented, are we still going to be on the same level? I mean, what is wrong? Where, where, where is the sincerity of purpose in all these things we are talking about? Is there somebody that doesn't really understand this sincerity of purpose? And let me ask you again, sir. The questions might just be coming. Is, is a flow of the spirit to be sincere with you. Now, let me ask you, when you do your meetings and you have your recommendations, do you really, I mean, open it up to the public for the use that you have been complaining for them to see these things, for us to really know that, okay, this MPIC has done their job faithfully, but this is where the problem lies. Of course, if you have done fantastic meetings, fantastic recommendations, and somebody is just there saying, I'm not approving it, there's nothing much you can do. He appointed you in the first place. So where exactly is this problem coming from? Is it that the MPIC doesn't even know his onions or do they have a constraint somewhere? Please, where is the problem coming from? The university has been suspended. Many other projects like that have been suspended. There is this thing we wanted to pay certain money for welfare, I mean, church workers, everything suspended. Where is this problem coming from? Maybe I should stop here for, for these answers before I continue, if time Thank permits. You. Thank you, Daddy Evangelist. Um, Thank you very much. Well, I can tell you that I was part of the committee of the Venetial University, Social Development University. I was part of the decision committee that listed the site of the of the proposed university I spent a whole day moving around the so many hectares of land that was, that was given to us by Professor Ashwa in my office. I'm giving you this background for you to know that I was part and parcel of that. And um, I can tell you that um, the reason why that project did not uh, receive the light of the yes, yes, the request was brought before his eminence, the pastor. And the, 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 the figure, a figure was put to it um, concerning the initial expenditure request which was made at that time. And I understand, I know that the pastor made a request. That before he can um, approve such an amount for the project, he would love to know how much the church has in the account of the church. Hmm. A request was put forward. There are letters that were written, there were messages that were sent to the appropriate persons at that time. Okay, if you want me to approve such a huge amount of the first phase registration and all that, that, that and, and blah, 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 I can tell you this money around hundreds of millions of naira. I now know what we have at the time, the balance in the account before I make the approval. I want to tell you that up till now, that request has not been answered. And that is what we also need to from concerning Celestial University. Is that means, of course, put on his request that until he sees on what the bank is in the first account, then he will not approve this huge amount. He doesn't need to know. People have enough money in their account to take care of the request that was supporting. I think, firstly, I do not think that the request of them is to know what is in their account before you have to the university. If the head of the church is also a signatory to the account, if it requires to know how much the balance is for making such a huge approval. So the I think he should be, should be given 
the information you requested. That information has not been given up to now. And, um, that is why the university is not go up. Concerning your question about whether our recommendations will be made up, I told you earlier on that I do not know of uh, past councils. I cannot speak for them. I can speak for the immediate past PIC where I was the assistant secretary, and I can speak for this council. I told you earlier on that these recommendations and policy recommendations will be presented to the plenary of the council on Saturday 24th, just a few days from now. Of course, after it is presented, whatever is approved will be public. We cannot publish without making it public because it is the the church, the membership of the church that will comply with this policy. So they need to know what they are going to comply with. So that is the answer to that question. Once it has been presented, that's the first stage. Second stage is to get it out. First stage is implementation. And before the implementation, you can begin to implement what people do not even know about. The membership of the church will be carried along and the recommendations will be presented to them. That answers the two questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, I don't know, is there any other person that wants to ask questions? Maybe I should go ahead. Go ahead and ask a second question so that. Uh, let me welcome okay. Daddy Kune Hamilton. Sorry. Good evening, sir. You're welcome to Inside for Moment. God bless you. Thanks for joining us, sir. Evangelist, uh, Daddy Pisati, go on, please. You see, when we, when we talk about the attitude of our youths, you know, it's not what is in, I mean, I don't want to vouch for anybody. I know that all across, all over celestial churches, most especially in Nigeria, the youths have the tendency to be violent because they have been in the dark for quite a while. And every, all they hear is that they want to do university for us, they stopped it. They want to give welfare, they stopped it. They want to do this, they stopped it it's enough to trigger anger. They don't even see any sincerity of purpose in our leadership. I must be honest with you. I go around churches, I'm evangelist. My kind of evangelist is not sit down and make money evangelist. I, I do the, the gospel. These people, this set of people, an average Celestian has lost hope, faith in this present leadership, which the PIC is deeply involved in. So I don't know how you want to go about redeeming this image. If, if you say such a thing has happened in Makoko to the, to the pastor, I can assure you, if you go to some other parishes, more of that will happen. I don't even pray for it. It's not a good sign. It's not a good omen for the church. But the truth is, you have kept these people in the dark for too long. They don't even know what you guys are doing. I mean, they don't even trust you anymore policies, they don't even see it, recommendations, we don't even know where they are, who is even the problem in the church, we don't even know. Now, there are issues, there are challenges, there are problems that cannot be resolved. How do we have trust and confidence in NPIC? How? There are issues unresolved, challenges unresolved. And you say you have, I mean, a department for internal disputes and administration, whatever. What is the job of this internal thing before all these things gets out of hand? What were they doing before it gets out of hand? Their job is to arrest it before it gets out of hand. You would have intervened in the right time. We shouldn't have been in the court before you say you want to do something. Is in the court? I mean, why are we like that? Why do we wait for issues to, to degenerate to this level before we want to act? Is there somebody that is hindering you if you have to say that, say it. Say the truth, let the devil be ashamed. 
And secondly, too, on this aspect, there is this issue on uh, letters flying here and there, stop coronation. Let everybody bring their certificate. We want to revalidate. Sir, with due respect to all our elders, it's a shame on us. It's a big shame. To me, as a learned person that I am, like you too, it's as if we guys don't even know what we are doing. That's the truth. You have taken huge money from people. You gave them anointment. You gave them the certificate. And you are saying they shouldn't coronate them. You are asking them to bring their certificate and revalidate. I mean, where do we do that? Where is that done? It's a shape. Let me be honest with you. Like I used to be. This whole mess is coming from the top. Leave the youth alone. It is we that have caused the problems for the youth. When Papa Oshofa was there, the youth were not like this now. Let's be honest with ourselves. The youth were not like this. They were not violent like this. Now that these people are here, this present leadership, why are we like this? We are too close. We, we are like a court. And that is what it is anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm bold to say that. What are we doing? Why are we messing ourselves up? We are the one messing the church, up, the church up, not the youths. Please, let's call a spade a spade. You gave me a certificate. You collected 150000 from me. You're asking me not, not to do correlation, to bring the certificate. You want to revalidate? I will just call you a bullshit. And that is what it is like. Thank you, sir. Um, I have some of my fathers there that raised up their hand. Daddy Shirley and Daddy, I give respect to Daddy Kuli Hamilton first. Thank you very much. May mm -hmm. I go ahead? Yes, sir. Um, I think Evangelist Peterson, you are you are taking the platform you have for granted. Uh, number one, asking a question and judging the response of the guest on the show is absolutely wrong. Even your language is not good enough. Now, you raised a point saying that the, the youth of Celestial Church have been left in the dark. The truth is that the youth of Celestial Church have been left in the dark for 74 years, hmm. not under this leadership. Hmm. As a church, Celestial Church has never really had plans for the youth. Mm. If not for a man like Professor Odeyemi, there will be no youth organization in Celestial Church till date. Mm. Now, the youth that you claim have lost leadership, uh, confidence in the current leadership, you need to give these youth names. I know that those who are educated in Celestial Church are currently the ones that the shepherds in different parishes are relying upon to give their parishes leverage on social media, leverage on the internet to measure up with the rest of Christendom. Those kinds of youths are not the one fomenting trouble over, all over the place. The youth that you say are, are becoming irritated, they are, they, they probably are sponsored youth. Hmm. Now, I don't know why anyone would say that the current PIC is not functioning. Evangelist Peterson's language is really, really hurtful. Now, let me ask you, Evangelist Peterson, how many MPICs did you know before Pastor Yeme for um, uh, time on the throne as the pastor of the Celestial Church. How many? I've been in this Celestial Church for about 40 years. You don't even get to know who the PICs are. You don't get to know. This is the first time in the history of Celestial Church that the ordinary Celestial knows who so many of the members of pastoral and council are. So that tells you that it is under P e EMF or Shofa that communication is the best about what the hierarchy is doing compared to those who are pastors 
before him. I remember that when Papa Oshoff of blessed memory held sway for 38 years over this church, we did not have social media. So if people have become more expressive now, it is not because the pastor in council or the pastor himself or even the BOT are lax or not communicating. It is the fact that every celestial now has a voice on social media and they are using it negatively. You're an evangelist who goes around parishes. I'm an evangelist who goes around parishes too. Please make it your business, Evangelist Peterson. There is nothing wrong with what the leadership of the church is doing today that is any worse than what leaderships have done in the past. But there is a lot more that leadership today is doing that leadership in the past did not do. So, is there any church you know anywhere in the world, Evangelist Peterson, whose members take to social media like Celestial Church? Elders, younger ones, we are all unruly. Everybody has a sense of entitlement, believing they can comment about the church anytime, anywhere, and to anyone. Pastor Yeme for Shofa and uh, members of the Pastor Council are not the ones responsible for that. Not bridging and using social media well is what is responsible. You will not find any member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God talking about his church on Facebook like Celestians are talking about their church. So if we go around parishes preaching to the young ones in Celestia Church, people like you and I, Evangelist Peterson, owe it a duty for the present and the future of Celestia Church to preach to Celestial youth that they do not have a right to comment about the church on social media, they should leave it to the appropriate spokesperson for the church. If everybody continues to do so, and you will agree with me, 90% of young Celestians who are commenting anyhow and very rudely on social media did not even go to proper school. Their English is terrible and etc. cetera. So they, there is this, motor park mentality that does not represent everybody in Celestial Church. And evangelists like you and I owe it a duty to be correcting this from pulpit to pulpit. I want to commend Celestial Honors TV for giving such a platform. And I want to thank the guest speaker for coming down and taking very rude questions very calmly. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Um, before I allow my father and the Lord, Daddy, Paul, I'm sure you need to come in. Uh, Daddy, Kaldi, do you have anything you want to say? I have something to say. Mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, oh, mommy, good evening. Mommy, good evening. Yeah, I have something to say anyway. I let um, the, the guest respond first, please, Mommy, if you don't mind. Okay. I will take more comments before I respond. Okay, okay, brilliant. Thank you, sir. Um, mommy, let me just yeah. let, um, give me a few one minute. Let me get Daddy. Daddy Shoyle, are you there? Uh, well, well th thank thank you very thank you very much, uh, uh, Celestia Honors TV um, and uh, uh, International um, Shepherd thank you uh, <laughs> Super Evangelist Ebenezer. Thank you very much. I celebrate you. I I celebrate the grace of God in your life. And uh, 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 our indefatigable um, secretary of the PIC, I celebrate you, sir. That was wonderful. I, will know, I, 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 I thought I should not add anything to what uh, 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 Dr. Kulia Milton have said concerning these issues. Uh, he has he's done more. That's the reason why I lowered my hand. Uh, because he, he said it all. He said he said what, what was in my mind. You see, what, what baffles me most is this. Uh, 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 people, uh, no one is saying that one should not say the truth. No one is holding another person down not to express themselves. You, even yourself, you said it, we can't control people's emotion, but 
if we are truly Christians, we have to be very, very careful the way we do things, what we say about celestial church of Christ. I weep in within me. I have I take this opportunity to say this because I, I, I already I'm in my own program. I'm supposed to be on my own program, but I'm so much interested in, in this in this conversation and, and the personalities that are involved. Super Evangelist Ebenezer. Yeah. One day and for several days, we were weeping and we were analyzing some issues and we concluded that you and I should buy tickets to go to Nigeria. We want to go out <laughs> further. Am I'm, I right? Yes, because we discussed that. Yes, personal discussion, yes. No, 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 hold on, hold yes. on, hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, you, no, you're not, you're right. When the court, when the court papers happened, did were we able to go again? No, we stopped. You see, there are so many we people. Won't Everybody is it. Won't keep us to anyway. Ma, Hallelujah. Go on, please. Okay. Ah, let, let my mommy speak. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. mommy. You can speak. You can go on. Ma, can go on. No, I want you to finish. Can Ma, you please finish? Yeah, please. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. I'll have to finish here. Okay. Thank you very much. You understand? But we reverted to praying. You understand? And uh, 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 there are youths who are sensible, who are cultured, who, 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 who are making waves. Not all youth are folks. Papa Bada once told me a story of an encounter with Baba Idaosa Benson and his students of his college in Benin. And he told, let's, uh, as you saw Idaosa, I don't think these ones are pastors. They are thugs. Are we hmm. breeding thugs in Celestial Church of Christ? We, we came into Celestial very, very young and we learned at the feet of our fathers. Not to be rude, not to be arrogant, not to talk carelessly, not to disgrace the church, not to bring the church down. Mm. But but people people enjoy people enjoy throwing most and I, 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 I mean on the church. Um, um, it's a pity. I, I, on a on a platform on a platform, I just wrote there uh, how people are so disrespectful to constitute authority in this church under the guise that you, you, you just, they, 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 they rubbish everybody. They rubbish everyone. Can't we do things in love? Can't we correct in love? Can we hold ourselves together in love? Can we forbear for another? And, and lastly, let me, let, me, let me just keep it. I, 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 I wrote on that platform. I met two young, two young, uh, 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 I mean, a, a young couple who are, who are Celestians. I mean, I've known them when the husband was a, a young boy. They are under 30. They're under 30. They were born into this church. Both the husband and the wife, they were born into this church in Nigeria. They migrated there, did their master's and did their PhD. One did, the husband did PhD architecture in, in University of Aberdeen. The wife was doing the master's in Kent and later on did a PhD. The husband, the young, they are both under 30. They, they are, they, 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 the, the, the husband is a lecturer at uh, South Bank University here in, 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 uh, in uh, mm -hmm. Elifar Castle a, 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 the wife is a consultant to the World uh, um, World Bank on uh, on 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 finance. They are under thirty. What did they do? Five years ago, about I think about four, three, four years ago, the young boy the young boy told me that that day I have an I have an app. He writes every every time. He still worships in the in the parish in their local parish here. Yeah. They have not said because they are this, they are that. They want to turn the table. They want to. They want to. Are we breeding thugs? May God help us in this church. Thank God for the good works of Baba Odeyemi, uh, Doctor Hamilton. I would have thought that the youth are just like. Don't know. 
if you cannot control the youths, if you cannot, and the great works that we, we in, my, in, my, in our own time, we did for the youth in, 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 in UK Dowsies here. Ask anyone, they can't write the youth, the, 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 the story of the, the history of the youth in UK without mentioning my name, but to the glory of God. Teaching them how, I mean, the ways of the Lord, how to be humble. Even if you are annoyed, you, you see, you don't say, I don't know what is happening. But may the Lord help us. The, 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 the pastor is, 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 is really trying and we could see a lot of things. Uh, just like our secretary said, with every honor to him and to God who chose him, there is a meeting that is coming up on the twenty third, where so many reports will be will be will, will be submitted. It's a, it has all, it, I mean, it, it's ongoing. Now it's being submitted, and people are uh, it's being reviewed. Let's give peace a chance. Let's work together. If not being rude to your elders, not being not looking down on your elders. And destroying every every fabric of the church. You want to prove a point? May the Lord help us. God bless you. God bless everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I, I'll take my leave. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, my beautiful mommy, mommy, Ejisha. Yes. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Thank hallelujah! You. Everyone, I'm happy to be on this platform today because I think the Spirit directs me. Thank anyway. You. So all I'm saying now, my Abu Shaman Celestia Merit Award, you are doing a great job, and God will continue to uphold you, and continue to put you right in every way. Anyway, Amen. you know I'm I'm always there for you. Anyway, you understand that. So anyway, what I want to suggest to my Abu Shaman for this Merit Award is when next you want to talk on this type of platform, try to invite some youths to join, to join the link, some of the youth head in Nigeria, because they have a lot in their mind to pour out. And it's like your children in the house, when they have something bottling up in their mind and nobody to listen to them, they will become violent. There's no way. Anything you say to them, they will turn their head. So exactly, this our youth now, we are in the modern age with them. Everything is moving fast, 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 like microwave. And they have this data brain, with the sense that everything they put in their brain has to work out straight away. We shouldn't be. They have to take their time. But for them to partake in the system of celestial of nowadays, because this is modern age, we have to involve them in everything, every movement we want to move. We have to involve them, either their representative, to be among us and ask questions. And that, those ones will go back when they have their meetings and relate everything to them. And they will digest over it. They're not stupid. They know what's going on underneath. How can you be an, an MPIC? without any qualification, without any criteria. We just see in the paper, there's also so PIC, this is PIC. I don't understand. I'm speaking on behalf of many women. We are bottling up with so many things to put forward to our pastor, but there's no way we can get through to it. This type of platform now is a, lot, is a bit of a um, step for us to move on as a woman, as a mother in Christ, in Celestia, because I'm not in Celestia to warm up bench. I want to contribute. I'm 45 years in Celestia. And during that time, I, I have a parish myself. Everybody can witness to that. I work hard in Celestia Church of Christ. And anything going wrong in Celestia concerns me. I have to contribute. I don't care what people say. I really honor the secretary, um, I don't know his name again. Adala, please, with all due respect, sir. When you are talking, we can't hear you properly. We hear others properly. I don't know why. Maybe your data point or whatever, or your mobile. We can't hear what you are saying. But all others, we can hear them. If you can adjust that for us, please. We need you to speak up so that we can hear what exactly you want to tell us. I know that you have a limited role to play. 
one is come to this job because if you want to put it forward to pastor you can't you know, just go straight to the pastor you have to a book appointment blah 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 you might wait another two weeks another one week you know but what i want to contribute today is my able chairman for the lesser merit award please help me to get in touch with the youth unity they call themselves united and something if you can get them get them involved in all this conversation they have a lot bottling up in their mind and they are not talks they know what they are doing so if you can please bring them on the platform let them express themselves and educate them then they will go back and educate others this is the plan not no secrets in celestial church of Christ anymore now. We are being exposed to the outside world on Facebook, on YouTube, every at long wash she was day by the one then she has experimented when you will lay change on you are be back or be genuine. So ah I want near the eta more lagba. So what I'm saying now is we have to involve our youth, please. And something to do with university in Nigeria is zero. Majority said is zero because so many undergraduates in Nigeria who pass out university, there's no job. They are walking about, they are riding Okada, everything is turning upside down. The problem Nigeria have is the problem Celestia Church of Christ is having now. If Celestia is good, Nigeria will be okay. I'm telling you the honest truth. Spiritually, if Niger if Celestia comes to standard, then Nigeria will come to standard because there are too many politics going on in Celestia Church of Christ. And as a woman, you have a limited role to play. You either shut your mouth or you speak up when you're allowed. So please, 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 I'm begging my able secretary, Ajala, please, with all due respect. Eh? So anything concerning university and anything they want to develop in Celestia, they have to find a platform for it on Facebook and let Ed, everybody put in their opinion. Somebody should manage that. They should manage the opinion of everybody and take it on board. Majority will carry the vote. That's only my contribution. God, God help you your all. Thank you, Mommy. Help everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Mommy. God bless you, Mommy. Thank you for your support. Uh, my daddies and everyone on board, thank you, uh, including Daddy Peterson. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I have to hand over to Evan Scarlet there, Jala. A very great man of God, a brilliant man, knows his stuff very well. And see, man, I just want to say something. That's a, mommy, for you, you said you do not know how to set to get to see the pastor. Um, I think I'll, have, I'll come in there because you are based in England. I have a principle and a lot of people might not like me for it. I don't like the idea of people leaving England to go directly to the pastor. We have a government council here in the United Kingdom. I mean, you may not agree with me, but that is, I say my own personal principle. I have a lot of connection in um, in my call, everywhere in Nigeria, I can see the pastor if I want to not call him. But I have this thing that there is a government council that is operating in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. we don't, I don't bypass them. Never done. I don't. No matter what it is, I'll shadow my question or anything to the secretariat. So have you tried to do that, Mommy? I don't I, I don't know the details. But for me, I, I to... understand Celestia at least for 45 years. If yes. I speak to you now, I know exactly, exactly where I'm coming from. What I'm saying is, it's not easy to pass on any message to pastor. I'm telling you the honest truth. The pastor can only act on what they tell him by transfer, like speaking to him in French, translating to him. I mean, he's a human being. How many will he put in his brain? And you can see his condition as well. Please, I'm begging you. So we need a platform on Facebook. So be open to everyone as we are commenting now on every platform about churches. So if you can have that as Celestia board of something, then everybody put in their complaint and we create some people like five or 10 to monitor it and reply and do exactly what majority wants. 
We have to do what majority want now, not what they want from the board of trustee or, or MPIC. No, we are not. I, I, we don't want to accept all that now. We want to stand on our feet because we've been exposed to the whole world now. No hiding place in Celeste anymore. Yeah, mommy, I know, I understand. I will hand over to the to our to the um guest who is definitely, but I see want to make up this point that we still have to go through the proper shadow. Because if you if you if people have called me to ask me questions about issues and things, and I've always referred them to either the Secretary General of the UK Diocese or even to the issue them themselves. Uh, if, and well, if I understand what you are saying, mommy, but Maybe because I'm talking, I'm a shepherd of a church in the United Kingdom. I might be limited in what I can do, but I will not go directly to the pastor. I know people have done it, but I don't. It's my personal principle. The church is an, the church, the church is an, the church is an organization. Somebody has to lead us. It has, it has structures. It has um, the ruling body and everything. But it might not be perfect at the moment. And like you, maybe you are not listening to what the secretary was saying that people, there's a lot of committee, there's a lot of recommendation. And even although uh, Peter Timmons have been a bit forceful in what he was saying, there's there are two sides to a coin. But mommy, what I'm saying to you is take my word for it. If you pass your suggestion to the Honestly, you what I'm saying, I want you to take it on board that we need a platform on this Facebook. For all celestial members, we are all educated. Some of our children are more educated than us. Let them fill in their comments. And you people sit down and work it out. I'm not going to go through any third party about celestial. No, you have to put everything open on the Facebook if you don't want them to criticize celestial. <coughs> that, that if you don't do that, that they will continue the to damage the image of, the, of, of this parish, of this church. Eh? I think, hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I don't have electricity supply. I've been trying to work on my gen. It's not forthcoming, but you can hear my voice. You see, yeah, uh, if you think I'm a bit forceful, well, I'm sorry about that. But the truth is, why are you looking at the forcefulness? Why don't you look at the substance of my arguments, my question? Yeah. Why don't we look at that? No, that is Peter said. I'm not. The questions will be looked at. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying to you is, you know, that the Shoyle, who is a member of the MPIC, he probably has more information than we do. He goes to the meeting with them. That the Kule Hamiti who have just been in charge of the seminary. They've just done. Their we are not seeing it. We are not seeing anything. Yeah, but they we are not no, seeing it. That is what no, my dear mommy is talking about as well. That is what my dear mommy said. We are not seeing anything. We are not seeing it. Yeah, Why but, are we in the dark? Which is fine. Well, I understand what you are saying. The secretary is there. He has listened to all of them. Actually, let me just hold over to the to the guest. I'm sorry, I don't want to be talking because I'm just the host here. Let's face the substance. Let's treat yes. the substance. That I is, mean, move forward. Let us bring him back. Then. That is, please ask him, sorry. Thank you. God bless you for your conversation. Daddy, can I over to you now? Thank you, Mr. Where is he gone? Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Our great secretary, yes. You've listened to both sides. Mommy Jackin has expressed herself. Uh, that the person now over to you, sir. Address this issue. For me, I don't want to say, but I don't think we can have a big problem where everybody will throw a question upon it because that will expose us a lot. So, but you know better than I do. Sorry, sir. I can hear you now. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, it's, it's a bit distorted, but I think it's the network. But there's something we can do with the network. But we can hear you now. Yeah, because I can hear you clearly, and I've adjusted all the buttons. I and adjust here. Yeah. I don't know why it's not um, very clear. Well, it might be the building of where you are, but we can hear you. It's better now. I hear sir. Maybe you should just move around in the house and change the um, the position where you're sitting. That's what I'm doing now. Okay, that's better now. I change my location then. Uh, that's better now. But let me know if you can hear me. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can hear you, yes. Hello? I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. Is it better now? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear you, yes. Okay. Now, let me... Let me try as much as possible to respond to the two speakers. For Evangelist Peterson, first of all, I want to remind him that this pastor also is just one year old. And these problems have been with us for decades in the Celestial Church but this pastor in council was inaugurated just last year in February. And we did the ground running. The stage where we are now presentation of policy recommendations, which is coming up on Saturday. There is no miracle that this pastor in council will perform within the short time that it was inaugurated. Or problems that had existed even before some of us became members of the Celestial Church of Christ. So I want you to understand that. And I want you to also understand that impatience will not be. It is not as if say that we just want to wake up overnight and uh, all the problems have disappeared. The problems are not going to disappear overnight. We are going to have to keep working on them and keep making progress until those problems are there. But there is no one, not even in that sofa, can perform that way to wipe away the problems overnight. But the only assurance that I can give is uh, this, um, this network in Nigeria. It's terrible, it's terrible. We can hear you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, there's no magic that will wipe out the problems by night. We are walking in the right direction and we will get there in a very short time. The report, like I said, will be presented. And let me tell you something else. I've listened to people all the time saying the church does not have a structure, the church does not have an administrative structure. Until we put an administrative structure in place, uh, we can make progress. I need to tell you this that the reports that we're talking about, by the time they are presented and we begin to implement them, automatically, and the state structure will fall in place. It, it is going to be automatic and it's going to be like magic. Once we approve these recommendations and we begin to implement them, you will discover that the church will automatically have a, a, a better administrative structure and things will be better. So, for me, as a So this is mm. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. What we need at this time is at least to be patient and let this um, council, which was inaugurated just a year ago, to itself. It's only after the stage doing that that we can begin to come. Thank you. For for Mama that spoke the uh, what have you spoke earlier on? Your suggestion that we should open up a complaint box on Facebook uh, might not be the solution to this problem. Uh Joshua has told you we cannot uh, continue to take issues to the pastors. Without going through, there, 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 even as we say, there is no structure within the church. 
we have a, an existing hierarchy. Everybody cannot go to the pastor. It will create a, a situation of confusion. So I think you are in the UK, you have people there who represent the, the, the office of the pastor, the, the pastors and the, the, the head of right of diocese, and there are others there. You can channel things through them, they will get to us and we will respond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, the question is from the We can hear you. We can hear you, sir. I, I was addressing the Mother Celestia. Yeah, mommy, mommy, Jishaki. Mommy, Jishaki. I don't want to go into the pastor who can tell me no. Uh, even in the midst of all this confusion, we still have a hierarchy in place. We have the head of the house there, and he has office of, officers working on him. We can reach the pastor through him. Um, opening a, a platform on Facebook for complaints might, might end up creating more confusion than what we already have now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daddy. Uh, we we'll just won't be rounding up now. Uh, sorry, uh, just let me add one thing to what uh, my secretary said. Okay, ma'am. You know, if it is possible, when next they're having shepherds meeting, is it possible to invite some of the head of the youth in Nigeria to their meeting to just be an independent body to listen carefully and then ask questions? I think that we, the message will go back to the rest of them and discuss about it. And from there, we start educating them for what we want from them to produce into Celestial Church of Christ, not to damage this church through social media. Yeah? If it is possible to invite them occasionally when you are having shepherds meeting wherever in Nigeria. Uh, the Youth Development Committee has done up a very robust program that is going to include the youth at different levels of the church. I can assure you of that. There is going to be there is a more inclusive template on ground right now. Okay. Which is going to be presented. The youth are going to be more included in whatever That's we're it. doing in the church. Yeah, yeah. you carry them along. Yeah. Also, it goes beyond just inviting them to the meeting of the shepherds and all that. No, what, we, what has been defined now is a more inclusive thing. They themselves yeah. to be part of the decision making. Yeah. I can tell you that. So okay. when, is, when is this, um, when is your saying all these things? That is why I I pleaded for patience and for allow this particular country to prove itself. We have just been on the streets for one year and we know how far we have gone. The next stage is to begin to unveil this thing to the generality of the church. And when people begin to see what has been done, they will know that a new wind in this has begun to go. Thank you very much. Mommy Jisaki, I hope that clarified the situation with you. And you're happy with that, Mommy. I know you love CCC. Mommy Jisaki, she's a great woman of God. Yeah. I always say um, it's always very difficult for us, people like us, like who are shepherds, to make comments on issues. We have our own personal view. Like, I also. <laughs> Ben, mommy, daddy, 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 daddy surely reveals something to the whole world, which God mm -hmm. um, bless him. It's a man I love so much. We planned, yes. We discussed when this crisis started. Myself, we discussed. I discussed with him, and the two of us agreed. We're gonna. We, we, we plan to buy a ticket to Nigeria to go and see the stakeholders. And I'm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I never discussed this with anyone. Mm -hmm. Said it tonight, and that was one of the things that I mean. I want the secretary of the MPIC to know that you can see that there's some of us like that. There are many people in Nigeria 
the diaspora that love this church so much. Of course, we, agree, of yeah, mommy, we agree, yeah. That is surely I said we said we're gonna buy a ticket, we're gonna go to a yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, I understand. Yeah. We planned, but immediately we planned, we agreed the date and everything. Bam, the court case happened. So we couldn't do anything anymore. We said we had to yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. And so, like the secretary said himself, that so many things, the court stopped so many things, and the court, you know, we can't do anything when the court case is going on. And I know that, and that the presentation has been on this platform, a brilliant evangelist, he knows his stuff. That the Kole Hamilton is uh, a great man that I admire so much. So, all of us, we have to come together. We have no choice. Yeah. Okay. One way or the other, one way or the other, there will be. I know that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will unite us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Very wonderful guest, Daddy. I have one question for all the members of MPIC, including my daddy Shirley. And this is not. This is not. To oh. attack. Have we seen this porous way of assistant venerable to rare evangelist, Daddy? What is going on in CCC? What is what is happening with this particular assistant venerable thing that everybody I mean, for me it costs a lot of money, a lot of money. No, no, the, the, the fact of the matter is, I, I I've seen things online that you know, like I said, because it's when I say ah, because you did it, because you did that, because God has allowed you to do it, but then whether it be the grace of God is our life, but grace, the gra the grace without no action is no grace. You still have to work hard for it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do in the kingdom of God, you have to work hard for it. Even no matter what you, no matter who, who you are. That but is that is, the NPIC members, are you going to go back on the rival and have a meeting about, you know, I've seen somebody that just joined this church four years ago. I don't want to mention mm -hmm. him. And I saw mm -hmm. him, a sister yesterday. Mm -hmm. What is going on, sir? I'm not criticizing anybody, but maybe the NPIC did not know what is going on. Maybe you guys, when you have your next meeting, you need to discuss it. Because we can't fold our hands and watch. We have to say so, something so, about it. To so support your point, sir, um, my able chairman for Celestial Merit Award, the first thing I heard is that only the shepherd of a parish will be entitled to this AVSC. Assistant venerable, only the shepherd, but now it's now Dick and Harry. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> mommy, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, sorry, that's mommy is mommy, mommy. She loves it. see when you are passionate about celestial church of Christ, you know, it's difficult for you not to speak out, honestly. Like I said, very difficult. Very difficult. you have to say something very difficult. You have to say well, it. I love what well, how daddy. Um, the, our, the, our great secretary, if I love him before, I even love him more now. The astute way he has handled all these questions, that kind of the God bless you. I mean, I, yes, I really appreciate him. He really has too. handled it oh, professionally. Yes. I mean, he's a journalist. Even that the case, everybody that has spoken is spoken very well. For me, I love CCC from my head to toe. I love this church. God has been good to me. But you don't take anything for granted. You still have to work for it. But people ask me questions. People ask me questions. Even one day somebody asked me, you want to I said, no, go come me. You know the reason why? I have a lot to do that just putting on the garment and people will be asking. <laughs> they had so much. But our MPIC, Daddy, show that everybody they know. I mean, Daddy, show you, they probably should have been, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to, I'm close to him, but look at what he's doing. Evangelism, look at his programs, look at his church. Church in London, church in. But what is going on? That is. Okay, thank you. Um, for those of us in the pastor in the council, we are as worried as you are. Thank you very much. But from my own, from my own private investigation, and I have not brought this before the council. But from my worries and my the alarm notes that rang in my head when I saw the way this assistant venerable thing was going, I began to ask questions discreetly to find out, hey, what is going on here? I discovered, for instance, that some people have been able to beat the system. Hmm. Yes. And I will say that anywhere. There are different categories of this victim of the system. Some people were not given this 
title as Paul, mm. and they are wearing Jesus. Mm. Like that. In fact, when I read it to some people, they identified the two shepherds who were not even anointed, and they are wearing that that. Um, uh, uh, I stand uh, able. They are wearing that garment of a system venerable. Now there are those able to penetrate the seat, all the all the administrative procedures that were put in place. And they got into the marching land and got anointed, even though they were not qualified for that okay, run. Okay, okay, now we know. Hmm. Hmm. With this did not get anointed and they are parading themselves as assistant venerable. Those ones are there. There are those who were not qualified and they were able to give this system, found their way into the, into the, into the martial arts and got the laying of hands. And there are those who, in these two categories, who have gone ahead to start doing in the future. Hmm. Even without the anointed. And that was what gave back to that letter that you saw. When they said, okay, stop, I think this was brought to the, to the knowledge of the pastor that hey, this thing has been, uh, has, has been polluted and uh, we need to put a stop to it and look at our records properly before people start um, doing in the future. And that was why that letter came out from the pastor that hey, let them hold on for now when the future, so that they can check and find out working with the shepherds of the different churches to find out who and who and who. Because before you can come to an event, you have to come to a parish. Yes. You have to come to a parish. This, these are the, the structures that were put in place. So people are beating these structures. People are get, getting into mercy land. Some get into that mercy land. They are not there for the anointment as an uh, assistant venerable. But once they lay hands on them, they tell you it's assistant variable, they lay hands, they lay hands on them. And that was why that letter came out to stop the investiture. I don't know how far that can correct the, the, the error that has already been made. I don't know. But you see, this is not directly under the purview of the pastor in council. Okay. The pastor in council is a policy making body. We can only make policies, make recommendations to check such things in the future. The pastor in council is not an executive model. It is not. So that is why when some people ask questions about what is the pastor in council doing about it, perhaps that question to be directed elsewhere, not to the pastor in council, because we are not an executive body. We sit, we make the recommendations, we make um, uh, policies, and we pass it on to the bodies that we execute them. So this is the situation we have on our hands. I am as worried as you are. I agree with what has been done. As far as that is something to invest. But I can tell you that we would also look at it at the level of the pastor in country, so that the proper structures can be put in place to check such things in the future. It's really very alarming. And to me, it causes a miscarriage of honor as well because it's, it's ridiculous. It's anyway, ridiculous. And uh, we're running up now. I want to thank everyone. If you just one more question for our great secretary, he has done really, really well. I'm proud of him. And um, just one more, please. If you're just joining us, this is Insightful Moment on Celeste Owners TV. And after this program, we're not going to log out. We're going to celebrate Celeste Owners TV because we're celebrating our one-year anniversary. Because this program, after the Insightful Moment, I'm going to go straight to the one-year anniversary. Please don't go celebrate us, wish off well. I have a new program I'm going to launch today. We are adding it to the list of our programs. We are expanding. And uh, God will continue to be with us in Jesus' mighty name. Um, any okay, someone that just raised their hand up. Who's this? Uh, oh, Daddy Kuni. Okay, Daddy Kuni. Daddy, you can go on, Daddy. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank Mother Intellectual Izzy for even putting up a case 
like Evangelist Peterson did, made a case for the involvement of youth. And I thank the pastor in accommodating that and the MPIC body going ahead to fashion that out. But uh, in direct response to Mommy Ijishaki, I would like to suggest to the secretary, to the pastor in council, my dear brother, Special Venerable Most Senior Evangelist Ajala, that whereas Facebook and other social media are definitely on the, the, the avenue to, to open up a complaint box for Celestians in all over the world. The PIC should please expedite action on resuscitating the official website of the Celestial Church. I know that there have been complications since the secretary to the personal secretary to the pastor, Akeju, passed on. A complaint box can be opened on the official website of the church, and Celestians all over the world will be able to use that as long as somebody is assigned to check it on a daily basis, and the PIC will get notified, especially the second to the PIC, your good yeah. self, whatever meaningful petitions or observations or questions mm -hmm. are raised, yeah, we'll but it on. should be on the official platform of the church. And once that is up and running, someone like you, your your personal email, sorry, your official email on that website can be made public and the lessons will know that they can also send messages to you in your inbox. Um, okay. On the issue of the curious title, I'd like to suggest to the secretary, pastor and council to share with the PIC. In this age of celestial church, shepherds should no longer be allowed to do markup on the cost, administrative cost of anointment. Because the ordinary celestial does not know how much each rank costs that people are able to cheat the system and make more money than the office of the pastor and the celestial church itself. One of the things that's gone round is even this controversial title, Assistant Venerable Superior Evangelist. When receipts are issued, they are grossly lower than all the figures people are banging around that the anointment for assistant venerable cost. So as long as there is no official conveyance, and once we have an official website, there has to be a page for anointment. Anointment should be digitalized over the time. The exact curve, you will not go to any embassy and apply without finding out the cost for the visa you're applying on the website of that embassy. Celestians should know how much it costs to move from brother to the first rank, how much it costs to move from superior evangelist to assistant venerable superior evangelist. And once that is done, all the middlemen, racketeering and profiteering will be cut away. Thank you. That is me. what we are talking about. You take us out of darkness. It's simple. Everybody will be on the same page. Exactly what we are talking about. God bless you all. God bless us. God bless the, us. Um, last one with our general, our great secretary, Daddy. Okay. So yeah. what? The last one for Celeste that are watching all over the world. Encourage us. We must not lose hope. We want a good word from you. <laughs> Well, I thank you very much um, for 
having me on this program. Well, thank you very much. I also, I also want to congratulate you on your fourth year anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and I thank you. The Lord will continue to guide you aright. You are doing a wonderful job. Man. And um, we, need, we need more of such in, in our great church. I want to appeal to the generality of our members not to give up on this church. We are in the right direction. We're walking in the right direction. And I can assure you that not too long from now, uh, we, we will begin to sing a new song and dance a new dance in the Celestial Church of Christ. Uh, yeah. well, I want to also be patient. Uh, let's be patient with this administration. Uh, if we continue to throw big bad and um, negativism at the administration, uh, we are not helping the church. Uh, we should all be positive. Um, and we should do away with um, this uh, confrontational attitude uh, to the leadership of the church. It's not helping at all. I know that those in leadership positions are doing their best. They also want the best for the church. Uh, we all saw the recent um, uh, decisions that were taken in that direction. And there are more such steps being taken, which will begin to um, built as, as we go along in the next few very soon we will for uh, thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you very much. I want to thank, thank you. all my friends. I want to thank everyone that joined us for this insightful moment, a brilliant program. It's funny. I mean, Daddy Kuli Hamilton is always with me. Always a phone call away whenever we need him and call him. Uh, man, for us, so Celestia, Honors TV, and uh, for me personally, Daddy Shui Lee. Mommy, this is my beautiful mommy. She always, she got my back. She look out for me. She always want to make sure that nothing goes wrong with me. Mommy, I really celebrate you. I thank you very, very much for your contribution. I like what Peter saying, a great evangelist. We've been here. You know, all of us in CCC that have, we, we're passionate about this church. We, everything about this church is great. The testimony, it's just that, that, that Kole said something, and I love that word. We, were not, we must not call the sponsored youths. I will not use another word for them. Some of them are sponsored to us havoc. So those ones, we cannot call them youths. We, don't, we have to find a way to excommunicate them so that we are all we, because we, we, there will be a kind of orientation that can bring them in, let them realize that, listen, you, you cannot use Gragra to get anything. It has to be something, you have to be patient, things will come into place. The secretary has already told us that. They, they, were, they came in about a year ago. It was like the, the, um, the convocation committee that was inaugurated last year, October. They only had two months to work and look at what they produce. So with all prayers, we can achieve a lot. I will, my, I will just let one of my, my daddy, uh, daddy show is gone. That show is gone. Okay, daddy, have a meeting. Please pray for us. Let us pray. Jehovah, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Holy Michael, mm -hmm. our Father in heaven, we thank you for such a time like this. We pray that the celestial honor TV will continue to grow in lips and bounds. One anniversary to a higher anniversary in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We well, thank you for the light and the effort of special venerable most senior evangelist Kaudi Ajala, secretary to the PIC. Thank you, Lord. As well as the entire PIC body, we pray that you will strengthen them. Yeah. Bless them with more wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to Amen. perform creditably for the progress of the church and to be Amen. good advisors to His Eminence Pastor EMS Oshofa in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for everyone who has made valuable contributions on the platform today. 
And we pray that each and every one of us will continue to enjoy your protection and your provision Amen. from this day forward in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 The Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy. love of God, Holy. and the faithfulness of the Holy Spirit. Bread and abide with each and every one of us. Amen. We pray that there will be a good resolution of the court cases. Amen. We pray that the church will continue to push forward and no power of Hades will hold us down. Amen. In Jesus' might name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Seven times. Thank you very much, Daddy Kuli. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, thank you. Thank you. My thank you, my daddy. I love you so much. God bless you. Love um, you too, we're going to celebrate a celestial on us TV one year anniversary. I'm going to play one or two, three clips that I'll talk about the new program. I'm going to announce to the whole world we're going to have a new program on Celestia on our called One to Watch. One to Watch. It will be a video platform. And the reason why we're creating One to Watch is um, if you look at Celestia on our TV for the past one year, we'll, we'll, we're creating, we've created content exclusively for Celestia on our TV. And when I started this uh, organization, my plan was to only put on our channel things that, I mean, program that will would be exclusive for us because it's so difficult sometimes you go to we in Celestia, they have the same thing. The Celestia generation, they have the same thing. Oman Selenimi, they have the same thing. So by the time you go through all the Celestia platforms, the same video, the same thing. So it's, they, it's, it's, it's so difficult for us. And God said to me, you know, you can do something different. That's okay. I set out by starting with Time Out with Celestia on us TV. I want to give thanks to the life of to Mama Ikimalu, Victoria Ikimalu, another MPIC, a great woman of God. She did a um, marriage and counseling program for about three months on that program, where we, on that on this channel where we started. Daddy Shirley has been on it a few times himself. He has been very great supporting. Yes. Wow. Great time. The first time. person on Insightful Moment was the first man to, to come on this insightful moment. I mean, for the first time, a lot of people emailed me to say, ah, thank you, Olusho. We now know about Shaddai View. We now know about Praise View because he actually, on that day, he was brilliant. Now we have the clips of it. So we're not coming up with an idea because people have been saying, oh, no, you guys have done well. We need to see other things that we're just, okay, if that is the case, we are not, we're gonna have a, a, a video platform called Want to Watch where you're going to see a lot of videos it will be a weekly basis on daily basis. So if you want to see like maybe an exclusivity or there's an exclusive video, even on international level, we'll put it there. Breaking news, we'll put it there for you to watch quickly because we don't want things that work for a year to be touched by any, and we're very careful because before I come out to come and uh, to, to put anything out on this platform and make sure that we verify our, our facts, it is the truth, even the, from the pastors. I work with the American Diocese, even the new issue. Everybody I have all their numbers, and I talk to them to say, okay, this information is it right? Is that the truth? Because we don't want to bring out distorted stories. And to God be the glory, it's been going very well. Um, we have the Daughters of the Light program, which we do every Thursday for women. Um, it's an open program. It's not only Sutana and everything. It's an open program for all our mothers. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to get Mami Gijaki to come on this program very soon by God's grace. It's a wonderful man of God. I'm going to get a lot of people that will come in there. We're reading up gradually. The 3 p.m. on Thursdays, we have prophetic declaration hour, which we have been consistent with. I want to thank Daddy uh, Dibamu, who, who has been very brilliant. He started with us and some of Daddy uh, Soji Kasumi in London, a few of the prophets have been on it. I want to try and bring more shepherds who are prophets. So 3 p.m. on Thursdays, then we have our news round. I, this news round, I love it. People of God, I we deserve, I don't know what to say about this news round. It takes a lot of time to produce it. I can assure you, the news round you watch every week from us consistently for the past 43 weeks, on interrupted brokers of Celestial News Run for 43 weeks. We have to get the news together. We have to write the script. We have to edit it. We have to get people to read it. Then we have to put it out 
all the staff, they are some of them, a few of them are working full time for me, and we pay them to the glory of God. And God has been able to help us, people of God. But it's something that Celestial Church of Christ should be proud of. And I know that a lot of my daddies who are PIM, PIC, even I remember I had an information from the pastor, and I'm going to joke about it. It's my father. And um, when, when we had this signage in Emeko that we put at the entrance of Emeko, that welcome to to uh, Emeko, powered by Celeste Honors and Merit Award. And then every year, I always make sure that it's changed. We, we do it again, we put it. And I had that during Christmas, was it not Christmas dinner? And the Meko, those who were there, that the pastor was joking that Ebenezer had been me, so in Meko, people were greeting me, that I was very happy with it. This is Celeste of Christ that we know. This is love. This is, this is, this is what it's all about. When I did the Platinum 70, I tell you, show where Celeste was 70. I honor, we honor 70 people in one day in commemorating for um, um, Celestial 70th anniversary. I mean, Daddy Shakete sent about seven pastors from uh, Kutonu. Daddy Eremere came from America. The pastor sent the uh, Baba Banjo was there. Mami, did you see? You come and see the unity. That is the Celestial of Christ we want to see. That is, that is, and I will pray to God that it will happen very soon. And the secretary has said it all. These are the brilliance of it. So when we go around, for me, I've been all over the world doing God's work in uh, Chicago and everywhere. This is the love. And I love, this is one of the things I know. So now bringing one to watch here, we're going to have a lot of videos. We're still going to vet it. We're still going to vet it. I mean, I live in a, in a very civilized society. If you put the wrong video out for somebody here, they might take you to court. I mean, there's no, you can't bribe the court here. So we're very, very careful. And as a shepherd myself, I don't know why God has given me this extra work, but I'm, I'm not complaining. I love doing it, but it's an extra work. And uh, to God be the glory, we thank the Lord for. We're going to have that. And please, I want to, as we celebrate our one year, all your programs. We're not going to charge you. Send us, send it to us. Let us know when in advance. I mean, like that is surely now. I always target all these programs. Well, when the moment is out, he knows bam, it's going to be in the news. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. Only have it too. I always. I mean, he said, Mother, I love so much because, and I'll tell you the reason. I've told somebody before, why? Well, somebody have asked me, how, when did you get to know Daddy, Daddy Kunli? I met him at, um, for the first time. I think I called him in January 2018 to honor him. He was on the list of the African Award. But something happened, we couldn't do it. So I went for Luli concert on that, that particular year. I left London on the Friday morning. I arrived Friday evening just to attend the concert. I met him. People who are watching, please listen to this. It's not because he's there. And I learned that. I went to greet him. It was my manager, Femi, that said, oh, Daddy Kole is there. I went to greet him. And I told him before, the first thing he did, I went and introduced myself. He stood up to greet me, warmly, hugged me. The next thing he did, you see, to some of our shepherds, I don't criticize and I don't knock you. I will say, because it's my platform. It's not my platform. This is God's project. Because one day God will call me. People will continue what I'm doing now. Immediately, he spoke to his wife, mommy. And mommy stood up. People of God, let us learn from his humility. Mommy greeted me warmly too. And the spirit said, this is how it's supposed to be. From that time, anywhere, ask anyone, if I'm sitting down and you come to greet me, I will stand up to greet you. So the youths that are coming, they need to learn something. I learned something from him that day that is with me, still with me by now. I will never sit down. If I'm, no matter where I am, even in the car, I will get out of the car to greet you because I keep remembering that day. And ever since he's been a very good advisor to me, he had, I had an issue with somebody. I'm not going to mention the name of the person. I spoke to him. I said, Daddy, this is the reason why I don't deal with you. But Daddy said, no, I will say to you. He called the person. He called me. And we, he made a defense. We spoke. If we, I mean, Thank God that Daddy showed in review to the whole world. Yes, we plan the two of us say, listen, this division is easy. We're fed up with it. We're buying a ticket. We're going to Nigeria for about four weeks. We're going to meet Baba Banjo, meet the pastor, meet everybody. But Daddy showed you, Daddy fires everybody to talk to them, get some people together. We, we're, just, we're just about to buy the ticket. And the court case started. That was why we, we didn't go. Who knows? Maybe we would have been we would have been successful with it. But there are people that want the best for this church. They don't want to be sidelined. I can understand the passion of that um, um, Peterson. I, I know him very well. A brilliant man of God. He's very, very good. A good evangelist, and he has been a very good friend of mine. 
Listen, we love this church, but people, they are working. The secretary have already explained to us that, listen, we're only one year here. We need, they need more time. You see, the past is the past, but we can learn from the past, but that must not cloud our judgment for the future. We must look forward to greater things ahead of us. We must realize that this church belongs to all of us. And I remember when that the community was chosen to lead the seminary and I had a chat with him. And I said, you made the right decision. I said this, that the because, because, and I can assure you, none of us can be called. I stand to be corrected to come and serve that will say no. I've had people say, I will not join them. I will not do this. Yes, you might say that, but people of God, if you are truly a child of God and you love this church, if they ask you to come and do something, it's a spiritual line. You will do it because that your contribution may be the one that will change things. You cannot be, be outside of the system and try to inflate things. You can't. You have to be in there. When they invited me to be on the platform of communication, uh, the, group, which is the group, I didn't want to join the group. I said to myself, I called at the meeting. I'm not afraid to say it. And the advice they say, listen, you are a great man. You're doing a lot of things for the of Christ. You have to be part of it. You have to accept it. And I accepted it. And I follow all the progress of the convocation committee. I was in the, in the group chat with them. I was in the media. I was following all of them. Even the planning committee, I was in their group chat. I was following everything they were doing. And I was impressed. And that encouraged me to want to do more. But if I've been thinking about something, I don't want to be, no, it's difficult for us. People of God, I think, like I said to you earlier, I can't control people's emotions, but listening to great men, our secretary, God, brilliant, brilliant man of God, that the Kayo there, that God will bless you. You see, people of God, I love what has happened this evening. It's 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 a platform that, you know, I love to do more, and I'm your boy. Please continue to support us. There's no limit to what you can achieve it. And then um, that we continue to be with us in Jesus' mighty name. So we're going to launch that this evening. I'm going to bring out a poster. I'm going to tell you the reason why. And then we're going to, I'm going to show, play some of the video clips that the, um, that the show late clips, I have it, that the Peter I have it, a few of the clips that I've, I've saved. Uh, maybe, but we don't, we've run out of time. I want to quickly finish at night, but the ones that I won't be able to play, we'll play during the week. So now that we had this fantastic discussion, I'm not going to take a lot of time because the, I don't want to take the gross of this, this uh, insightful moment. This is a very brilliant one. So I'm just going to play one or two clips and our jingle. If when you listen to that jingle, it was made for us. When we started this organization, we said to yourself, we need to have something that people will identify us with. I mean, um, like the song that, song that, that we used on Sunday that said, Tabafu, you can't just have me, 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 you can't Tabafo, you can't just you I mean, see when people see you, what are what are they going to identify you with? What is it? You are wearing a garment, yes, fine. Is that the only thing they can say about you? Celestial so Christ is more than that. There's so much grace. There's so much blessing. There's so much healing. This every this we are like the secretary said earlier that the um, priority, we are not like any other church. We are different. We are unique. They have to. They, we need to exhibit that that love, not just talk about it. And I'm grateful that God has put me in this position to be able to do this tonight. And um, thank you for everyone that's been here. I'm going to start playing now. First of all, I'll share the news for you with you to come first news round. So please continue to support us. I'm going to share the news round. Hopefully, I won't have to let me see. Uh, so, is it the current news? I mean, I'll just share any of the news rant with you so that we can. Okay, let me share the adverts first. Play this for you. What you are listening to is our exclusive jingle. Stay 
Honours and Merit Award International. That's our um, Zoom, permanently Zoom ID at the passcode. You want to join our entire episode. God bless you. As you can see, we've done well. It will get better by God's grace. Now we're adding one to watch. Another program, we're going to add that. Details will be coming out later tonight because I'm going to, I'm going to I mean, I've had a very good time. I don't want any, like I said to you, I've enjoyed this insightful moment. So i just going to play the news and edit this program. It's been absolutely brilliant. I really loved it. So I want to play the news for you. Please bear with me. Uh, that's the news. Maybe just any other news we we'll, we'll do for now. I think I have um I need to play one of Jokemi Yuwa. Sorry, I, I promised myself to play this. Let me play one of Jokemi Yuwa. This is one of the Jokemi Yuwa's program. I want you to watch one of her programs. It's, watch this program on daily um, daily mutual program. That would be life on our YouTube channel. So we're promoting God's faithfulness, supporting CCC, selection of Christ, in the we can. This is one of our programs, good news with Sister Dokemi Yewa, a great, big, brilliant actress, a great woman of God. She has a parish in Ivanov. My good people, my beautiful people. This is yours truly, and I bring again good news to you. News that will solve all the problems: money, marriage, work, ministry. I bring the good news to you. And what's this good news? The good news of Father, God, and Holy Spirit, the solver of all problems. Now let us pray. Jehovah, Jesus Christ in the man's Our Heavenly Father, Father, 
both Almighty, the Son, the Holy Spirit, to call you now to be this minister of the risen Master. Whoever hears and believes, let them have great impartation. At the end of it, let us all have testimonies that you are God and no other. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Yes, again, I bring good news to you once again. And um, what's this good news to you? I bring good news of Christ as the author and the finisher of our faith. I saw this in Colossians 2 9 says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead for delay. What are we talking about here? That in Christ dwells the full Godhead. What this Bible is saying is that Christ has everything that God has because God has really manifested himself in Christ. Christ is the solid stone. Christ is the only person, the being that can help us with God. Don't understand. Without him, he says it that without me, you are nothing. Without him, you cannot do anything. And let me tell you, the moment you understand this, the better, the less problems you are going to have. Because God says in Romans 14, 7, that um, he created you for himself. When you live, you live for him. When you die, you die for God. So whether you are alive or you die, you die for God. So that means that as you are, as you are looking at me like this, I was created by God and solely for God to proclaim the glory of God. And that's what I'm doing. What are you doing? God said that in Christ has all the full bodyhead of God deity. Jesus himself, as a mark of obedience and respect, says, my father is working and I'm working still. But I tell that, in, the Bible tells us that Every power in heaven and earth dwells in Christ. Father himself says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Please listen to him. And what did he say? He said you should love your father, you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, and your neighbor as yourself. He says, without me, you cannot do anything. With me, it is possible. With God, it's possible. Without God, it is not possible. So, the good news of Christ today is that He is a representative of God, the power, the glory forever and ever. He was created to be like that. He's not human. He came as a human being so that you can affiliate with Him, so that you can see yourself in Him that, okay, He's a human being like me. He will understand, and he was going to pass through all those humanly journeys so that when he feels, he knows, he knows when he wants this to be hungry, he knows what it is to be, um, he knows what it is to be sick, to be hungry, to want to rest every human thing that happens. He has experienced all those, so he knows what he's talking about. So, this is the good news I've brought to you today. And the song goes, you are a prophet, I am a prophet. Everybody has it. Everybody is chosen. But gets the wisdom of Christ. In fact, the main pillar of the lesson of Christ is to get the wisdom of Christ. One, all other things follow. You need to tell the world that Jesus is the only person that can do it. No other person. That you need to build your faith in Christ. You must build your faith. If you don't have faith, you can go beg, borrow, or steal. You need faith. Where do you get faith? When you listen to the word of God. 
Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. So when you have your faith, you have grace. Ephesians 2 9. You have faith, you have grace. When you have faith, you have grace. So you must move nearer to people of faith. You must move nearer to churches where they bring faith and salvation. You must listen to the word of faith and you must pray before you do that so that the anointing in that sound will be yours. So that the anointing, the fire of that anointing will be manifested in you so that when you listen, it will have good fertile ground for it to grow and you have to sustain it by being in the presence of people who understand, who know God, who listen to his word. That's why I said that if you want to be in, if you want to be among the tribes of those godly people, godly generation, get the Bible. I did not think it was necessary when I first went to the church of Christ. But later, it became my, my cross that I carry every time. The Bible and the hymn book, they say a lot. You claim God's promise in it. It says everything that God is has been given to Christ. So when you leave your house, when I leave my house, when I go to church, I know that I'm going to worship God through Christ because Christ is the only person that's sustaining for me. Our Adamic nature cannot allow us to see God, cannot allow God to see us. Christ is light. He shines the light onto you. So without Christ, you are nothing. So when you leave your house and you go to church, you are going there to meet Christ. Even when you get to the arena of that church, because Christ has power, he has glory, you are partaker in it. You understand what I mean? You are partaker of the power of Christ. You are partaker in the glory of Christ. You are partaker in the light of Christ. You are partaker in the spirit of Christ. Okay. You are partaker in the spirit of Christ. When you get to church, so you keep on everything. You know, the lesson of Christ is a worship church. It's a praise church. It's a Bible church. But first of all, it's a worship church. You can only get your own miracle. When you focus, when you concentrate, when you believe, when you have faith, when you practice every doctrine, everything that is said to us. Without that, you are just going for fun, social gathering. Me, Allah Almighty, I will never go to church and be in social gathering. When I leave my when I leave my house and I start washing my temple, it's two o'clock. I must get something. If I don't get, I will not leave that church. I will not. And I don't care if they say some other people are uh, whatever prayer you are you are making, that it does not pass the ceiling of the church, it's a bloody life. When your prayer is truthful and honest. It will pass through the ceiling. It will go. Hey, Malaika, what you look for? Are you me? I prefer you. She bear you not to. You won't let her get out to. She bear you not to. Hey, Mother, they are doing it. Hey, Father, they do it. You know. The angels that answer prayers, God has positioned them in church. Christ is the only focus. That's why we have the eye there. When you get to church, look at the eye. Concentrate on the eye. The eye is looking at you. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Are you listening? Are you gossiping? Are you subtracting? The eye is there. The eye has the full body of God. Remember that God can do and undo. He does as he wishes. The God of vengeance is the God of love. And let me tell you, when you go to church and you don't perform all the things you are with, you're not wasting time. Time is not wasted. You are wasting yourself. Those hours between 12, between 10 o'clock and the 2 o'clock that you finish your service, you can never acquire that again in history. It is not possible. Even the time I'm talking now, this particular hour, I cannot retrieve it in history. I'm growing older, growing older, I'm growing older. I'm going small, small until I reach when God says I should go and I will just go. But what do you do in between? God is the only person that knows when you are born and when you are going to die. 
in between, you just have to mandate with Christ. Without Christ, you cannot do anything. Look at those two junctions when you are born and when you are going to die. There are so many junctions in between, my dear brothers and sisters. You must know that if Christ is not going with you on this journey, you cannot make it. Christ symbolizes grace. I pray with you today that Christ, who is possessed of the whole matter, all the whole spiritual entity of God, will join with you. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. You see, that is uh, good news with Jokemu Yewa. You can watch um, the rest of it and uh, the program on our YouTube channel at Celestia Honors TV. Uh, we have a lot of the programs, like I've been saying, telling you more about the programs with the board because we had a very wonderful one today. Insightful moment with uh, special, variable, most senior evangelist, Kayode Ajala. Secretary, Pastor in Council, Association of Christ Worldwide. Please, if you miss this program, we're going to try and put it back on it um, on our YouTube channel. Very maybe during the week, you're going to learn a lot. The question from everyone has been about. So we're celebrating one year of Gospel Students on Celestia Owners TV. That's one of our programs. I just show you. And let me just try and see. I can share another one with you quickly. Um, let me see. Okay, sorry, we can't get the news right. So let me just, I'm trying to cut corners, but it's not allowing me to. By God's grace, we're going to get you thrown. We are launching a new program called One to Watch. So let me see whether I can bring the, the program out, but I'm trying to do the news. For those of you who are just joining us, Celestia Honors TV, one year. So we're doing celebrating God's faithfulness. So we're trying to, to show you some of the programs that we've done, the work we're doing. And God has been very good to this organization. We're not taking anything for granted. Please like our pages on Facebook, YouTube channel, everything about this organization, God has been faithful, it's going very well. One year on, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I love doing this. And now congratulations to all the teams. We are, you've, been, you've been brilliant. We are he not here to mess about, but to, to, to thank the Lord for what he's been doing in our lives. So please, I'm trying to, to get the news on. Whatever it is, is not coming up. So bear with me. Technology for you. Okay. Mm -mm. It's new, new, new. So okay. Uh, let's see if I get the news. I don't know where the news is, is. So let me try and get that the case. This is one of our. This is the last, the very first insightful moment. You just watch insightful moment. You're gonna see a new, the clip. I'll just show you a clip of the first one, the very first one. I just want to. Actually, find what advice briefly will you give to CCC shepherds? Thank you very much. Uh, the yes, world is watching us. Watching us. Really the because guest. The world is watching us. We are the pillars upon which God has built this legacy that He founded by the hand of our late progenitor, Papa SBJ Osho. My, I admonish us all as shepherds, anywhere we find ourselves in the world, to be shining examples. The fact that you're a shepherd does not remove the fact that you're most likely also a husband and a father. Whatever you do as a shepherd will influence your wife and your children. Today, shepherds whose children do not worship in celestial church, it's not only because those children maybe were married off into another denomination. Many times it's also because what they see their shepherd fathers do puts them off. When a shepherd mis mistreats his wife,
The children want to, they don't want to remain a part of that church because it means then the church is a lie. A church that does not promote marital values, parental values, cannot hold or sustain the Christianity of children who are able to read for themselves. This legacy has lived on because of the commitment and the dedication of truly called shepherds. Out the shepherds who have criminal intentions to hold sway. Celestial church would have become history. But we thank God for well-intentioned, genuine-minded, truly called shepherds upon whose commission God has sustained this church. I call on all shepherds. Stop thinking of yourself and yourself alone. See yourself as a city set upon a hill that everybody is looking at. If Papa did all those miracles in his time, then I want you to know that in your own little way, you too can do something similar, if not even. Hallelujah. So you, if you want to watch that video, that video is on our YouTube channel. Um, subscribe, like our pages. There's so many things. There are many videos you can watch on um, our YouTube. That is there. So that was the first insightful moment. And this is, I think this is the third or the fourth insightful moment. So that can say anything you see on Celestial Honors TV we produce, was produced by us, our own content. But now we are introducing a new program called uh, One to Watch. And I'll tell you more about One to Watch before I run out this program. So I'm trying to get writing on. So you've seen the side for moments. Let's see. I'm trying to get the news. I don't know why the news is not coming up. I don't want to play the old news. I want to play the new news. So please bear with me. I'll get it right. Technology can be very funny. You know, they, you, you've done it all the time and you keep coming up with, no, no, I'm not going to let you play me. I'm not going to let you play me. So I don't give up. Trust me, people of God, I'll never give up. Because anything that cannot speak to me cannot give me too much problem. I'm trying to see if I can play another video for you, but I'm just going to go straight to, to want to watch now. So let me give you the poster of want to watch. And then um, we can see one to watch. Sorry, people, it's, it's not that easy to do this thing. Please try and appreciate what we're doing. Um, it's, it takes a lot of time to master this. And thank God I can do it. It's not only me doing it with this and that. Uh, let me see, one to watch, it's not coming. I'm not seeing it. So. I don't know where it is. One, two. Yes, I found it. Hey, one to watch. Uh oh, it's not coming. No, 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 no. Right, okay, we'll try another one. God bless you. Right, basically, one to watch is all about videos, a video platform, a new video platform on Celestia Honors TV. And you're going to be seeing a lot, a lot of it. Um, we're going to be sharing it, telling you more about it. We're going to be telling you, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos that you don't normally see on our platform before, but we're still going to screen it. We're still going to screen it. We're going to have a look at it. We're not just going to put just any video that will cause problems for us. We don't want to do that. We're very, very careful because we don't want to offend anybody. Neither do we not people to offend us. I don't want to answer questions for doing things for God. So I'm very, very careful what I put here. So by God's grace, I know we're going to get some things right very, very soon. And God has been very good to us on Celestia on us TV. We've been managed, we've tried to, or we've succeeded in doing things for the past one year. We're celebrating our one year anniversary now. And to be honest with you, we have surpassed all expectations, even myself. I did not know that it was going to be like this because I was just expecting us to just do time out for a year. But boy, I mean, the ways of God are mysterious to man. Now I know why it's that we've been, we've been able to do 
brilliantly well. I want to thank all the teams. I want to thank all my fathers, everyone that's supporting us. I'm just trying to get the news and I'm not giving up. <laughs> it's there somewhere here, but it's not giving me the current news and I'm gonna get it. People of God, I don't give up, trust me. It's there somewhere, but I don't know why it's not coming up. So let me see where I can get one of the programs that was sent to me. Um, we have one of the programs. Okay, let me see a timeout clip. Timeout, this is the timeout with Celeste on us coming up. If this is the one of the timeout program, one of our programs, I'll give you a clip of timeout. Let me go again. Who's calling me? I'm on live program. Why is somebody calling me? So the people will go, why is somebody calling me? They don't have long time to call me. Why you call mommy? So I'm giving you, so I want to try and give you a clip of all our videos that we've done. So it's not showing. I don't know what I've done. Something is going we've done something. So it's giving me blank. I don't know people, but well, at least I got my screen back. Anyway, I'm not going, I'm just gonna round up now. So what we're gonna do is to just have it all week. We're just gonna have, I'm just gonna celebrate the one year to continue. So right now I'm gonna play, maybe will allow me to something somewhere is not right somewhere, but I think the main program has been done, which is which is why I'm happy because I'm very grateful to God that I was able to, to really, really do this. And um, I just want to thank the Lord one more time. I will be just rounding this up, but I won't give up on this news. Sorry, this is this is just me about me. The news is there. Um, the current news is not there. I don't know why it's not there. So whatever it is that is not bringing the news, I don't know. But I'll try and see if I can get it. Okay, I found one. Let me play you the jingle for this organization. When we started this organization, we want something that will identify us. When you hear the jingle or when you see the video. You know, this is Celestia on us TV. Now I say, Tabacom for Juka, just Rami Wola of you, I mean, show what law war I tell you. You need to be, you need people need to identify you with something. You know, when the people see me, they call me Babala Ward, Ah, Lushala Ward, Baba Kiniko Kiniko. People of God, you need to do something so that people will be able to know, yes. Hopefully, this will play.
Honours TV is powered by Celestia Honours and Merit Award International. Hallelujah. That is our jingle, our timeout. Anytime you see that coming up, we're doing our program. That's for Saturday, every Saturday. Um, Saturday is at 11 a.m. in the morning. That has been going consistently for a year. People of God. I mean, Kingdom of Israel, Baba, Kingdom of Israel. It's not about me. I have a very great team around me. Those who have worked with me before, I thank you for your efforts. The current crop of our staff and those who are in London and those who are in America, David, and our brand new fantastic mama that did a very good program for us yesterday on Saturday on the rest of China America. Mommy, I didn't do her. God bless you. And we have, listen, we're coming up with our consequences. You're going to see some videos. I'm going to show you later, maybe tomorrow or uh, during the week. Our correspondents, the clips, we have them. I don't want to put it. There's no more time. People of God, I'm still looking for this news. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> don't mind me. Just, I found it. I think it's, it's in Dropbox. Dropbox has decided to take it from where it's supposed to be. So I think it's inside the Dropbox now. So I might have... Um, Found it. I don't know what the what is doing in the box, but um, sorry, that's not that one. Daddy, Daddy, um, Peterson, God bless you. Yes, sir. You too, sir. Daddy, I'm telling you, man, something is giving, cracking me up here, and I'm not giving up. You know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's, it's there. You know. I'm just trying to call them. But it's there. I don't know whatever reason is just not. Coming up, maybe that's what I'm going to pray it. <laughs> I don't give up easily, you know. I'm not no. If I give up, if I'm like that, I will not get to where I am today. No, I don't give up. But the thing that's is, there. Maybe earlier before we started this program, but whatever reason, it's not giving me that. I don't know why. Eh? <laughs> before I start blaming the devil, oh. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> I said that that the amity now. It's true now. Maybe you should just go into prayers for me quickly, oh. <laughs> Well, the thing is there because I I even tried to play before we started this program. I saw it a few minutes ago, but okay, I think I might have found where it is because it's there. I want to play. Um, I'm looking for your clip too. Well, we've had a very good time today. Honestly, it's it's been absolutely beautiful. So no, it has been an insight. I'm telling you, it, you it's, 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 I mean, I, I'm going to bring you on next time because it's your time to come and do this insightful moment, Daddy. <laughs> ask you questions. Honestly, you're a brilliant man. I think I might just give up, honestly. Where it's supposed to be. And um okay, let me see if I can find it. Um sorry, people of God. Uh, it's not necessarily I do not know, I don't understand. It's there, but it's not just coming up. Uh, there, but I think I just have to give up and play it maybe during the week, or maybe I just play any of the news. I just want to show people all the some of the programs we've been doing, but it's almost nine o'clock now. I'm in my church office, you know, today. I'm not at home. Exactly. So I need to round up now and start to, to go. I'm trying to, but I, I mean, people of God, what I'm going to do, bear with me, is by God's grace, this celebration will continue during the week. Um, okay, thank God tomorrow. I'll do a bit of pro life, another live program tomorrow. I'll be able to play Daddy um, Peterson did brilliantly. You need to listen to two of his clips. I'll make sure that you're on. Okay, what I'm going to do, people of God, is we're going to launch um, one to watch tomorrow. Okay, I'll start, maybe tomorrow is Tuesday yet. I'm not working tomorrow. In the evening, come online at about um, 8 p.m. Nigerian time, 8 p.m. UK time. We'll do one hour program to launch the video, pro, the, 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 uh, the, the video platform on Celestia Honors TV. What I'll do is I'll put Daddy, um, I think we, Daddy and Mommy um, and everybody, I think I have about 10 of them. People who have been on this program, Mommy Kimalu, Mommy Juliet, man, um, Asa London, everybody. I'm going to bring everything. I'm going to show one of them. So we we'll launch the Daniel video platform. If you have any video, because people know that we don't accept external videos, don't worry. Send it to us. Like I said, we're still going to screen it before we put it. But well, that will be our video platform. So anytime you want to watch any video, it might be breaking news in America, it might be breaking news in UK, breaking news anywhere, we're going to put it straight there. That video channel will be live most of the time. 
I will make sure that it's working. And then I want to thank you, every one of you. Yes. I cannot thank you, you know, that the process in that you brilliant. I can't wait for you to come and minister to us in the kind of glory yes. five. We're waiting here. But I might see you. Well, this is well, sir. This is well, sir. Well, I'm particularly grateful today. I'm particularly grateful for today because you know those recommendations that Daddy Hamilton did. Yes. You know that they should now create a platform on the internet to disclose everything about this anointment. Yes. That's a wonderful development. It keeps um, everybody on the same page. Right, you know the price, you know the amount you, they're going to charge you before you apply for it. You are not going to boo-boo me around anymore. You know, we've been apportioning the blames to the authority. We've been blaming the leaders. We've been blaming all of these people because we are in the dark. We don't even know who is collecting the money. Yes. I, do, I don't do it anyway. For a long time, my senior evangelist has been, yes, up to... Senior evangelist, you are... You are you, I mean, yes, for me, I'm not even ready for it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not interested. But you see, people yeah, keep see. complaining, telling you, what are you guys doing? Is this how Celestia will be going? It's so, I mean, it's amazing. I have, I have to risk it because it's becoming a ridiculous situation. I'm not sorry. Very ridiculous. I, I, I really have to. It's becoming a, an embarrassing situation. It's becoming, a, <laughs> it's becoming an embarrassing situation. Let's be honest. With you know, just yeah. yesterday, a, a friend of mine, one of the like that, had to tell me painfully that he paid a hundred and fifty thousand naira. He said he paid hundred thousand officially. He paid fifty to some people somewhere, somewhere. Because of what? Is all this? God, because what? What is he looking for? What is all this? Why are you people messing yourself up? If you leave it, would they come and force you to take money from you? Because of what? <laughs> it's it's so ridiculous. I don't know. Mm. And these things will go on social medias. And people will start saying it. We are ridiculing the system. Hmm. We are ridiculing the system. No, so, you got, guys are angry. People are angry. You know, they are upset. It's so pathetic, honestly, because most people don't even have privilege to meet leaders like this. Yes. So the little opportunity they have, they explode. It's it's funny, but we thank God for today. Let them begin oh, to be yes. one after the other. We'll get there. By the grace thank, of God. Thank you very much. I want one more time around about I thought to thank my father and mother. Thank you very much. We're grateful.